I look back at some of my old videos and I'm like, I was, I don't know, I just, I felt like I acted so confident and really I'm like, girl, you had no clue. Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Jamie, if you're new. If you are new, then welcome to my channel. Subscribe down below if you'd like to join the community over here and you'd like to see more content from me. I'd love to get to know you. Drop me a comment down below and let's connect. Today we're gonna be having a conversation about simplifying your life as a mom. Everybody take a big breath and let it out. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys just some ideas that I have, things that um, I have not conquered. I honestly have steered away from making tips and tricks videos because I'm so humbled every single day by my children and by what I don't know and what I discover that I don't know every day as a parent, um, that I just, making tips and tricks videos is a little scary to me. I look back at some of my old videos and I'm like, I was, I don't know, I just, I felt like I acted so confident and really I'm like, girl, you had no clue. Today's video is really fun because I am doing a collab with my friend Julie over from A Beautiful Horizon. I'm super excited because I love Julie. She exudes such peace and wisdom. She is like, she just radiates joy. She is a fellow homeschooling mom. She is um, more natural minded like I strive to be. She does um, videos on simple living and uh, living more of a minimalist lifestyle. So definitely go check her out. We're both going to be sharing ways that we simplify our life as a mother. So after you watch this, please go on over to Julie's channel, subscribe to her, and find out all the good things that she's going to share for this collab. So the first thing that I found as simplifying my life as a mom, sometimes it can be really hard because I feel like being a stay-at-home mom there's always that constant like to-do list I don't know if it's just me but I'm constantly if I'm home and I'm around you know my dishes that need to get put away or my kitchen floor that needs to get cleaned and I'm cleaning my kitchen floor it takes me into my laundry room which is a mess <laughs> and then you know I go to the basement to get something that I need in my laundry room and I realize that my basement needs to be clean and it's just like constant I'm home all the time and so I'm aware of all the things that need to get done all the time. So for me, I have implemented a day off every week. And I feel like we run a lot on, on our weekends. Saturdays are usually pretty busy. Sundays we have church, we have a missional community that we're a part of. And so we're really busy. And so that rest, we kind of don't get that. And so on Mondays, Mondays are my day that I implement nada nothing we don't go anywhere we don't leave the house my kids are usually in pajamas all day and it honestly gives me such a peace of mind because i can take the day off like i tell myself it's monday we don't we're not homeschooling today it's monday i don't have to get that done i also use mondays to catch up with things around my house but i guess i just don't feel guilty about not doing much of anything else besides just being home, you know? So I make sure that the chaos comes to a halt on Monday and we just have a day at home. The second thing I've tried to implement is less is more. Less clothing means less laundry that I have to do, which means less time that's taken away from my family. Less toys for my kids means less toys all over my house in every nook and cranny that we have to pick up. Less clutter, less is more. I really feel like the idea of less is more is something that I try to implement and because I try to do that, it does simplify and bring a lot more joy to my life. The third tip that I have for you is something that is I feel bad even saying it's a tip, and that is to embrace the simple meals. It is totally fine if you eat cereal for dinner sometimes. Like, that's okay. Macaroni and cheese and hot dogs never killed anybody. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We do sandwiches usually on the nights when Fiona has dance class. Um, there have been so many times where we do breakfast for dinner. We eat eggs and bacon. Sometimes we don't have bacon. Sometimes we just do eggs and toast, you know? Especially if you're in a season where you have a lot of little ones. I have four kids, five and under. And so the crock pot is like my best friend. And when the crock pot and I can't connect during the day, then sometimes we just, you know, we just might have some sandwiches and some barbecue potato chips. All right guys, so those were some of my tips and tricks. 
on how to simplify your life as a mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new from Julie's channel and you want to stick around, please subscribe down below. I'd love to get to know you. And don't forget to head on over to Julie's channel for all of you guys who have never been there and you have not watched her video yet. You definitely need to watch her and subscribe because I know you're going to love her. I hope that you guys have a good day and I will see you guys in the next one.